Hello, I'm Sharon Tay. We want to update you on the stories we're working on tonight. This is CBSLA.com's The Rundown. Two brothers have been charged with murder in the disappearance of a Moreno Valley teen. 16-year-old Aranda Briones disappeared last month. Today, the Riverside County Sheriff's Department took Owen and Gary Shover into custody. Earlier, Owen had said he dropped Aranda off at a community park before she disappeared. California Governor Gavin Newsom was canceling plans for high-speed rail between L.A. and San Francisco. This project was supported for years by past governors Jerry Brown and Arnold Schwarzenegger. But Governor Newsom says it'll cost too much and take too long. He does want to finish the part of the line where construction already started from Merced to Bakersfield. L.A. will become the largest city in the U.S. to ban fur sales. The L.A. City Council tentatively passed the new ordinance today. It'll make it illegal to sell, manufacture, or trade products that use fur, like handbags, shoes, and hats, within city limits. Because the vote was not unanimous, a second vote will be required. L.A. is following West Hollywood, Berkeley, and San Francisco that have similar bans. Infamous drug lord El Chapo has been found guilty of all charges in U.S. federal court. The 61-year-old, whose real name is Joaquin Guzman, was convicted for all 10 counts related to drug smuggling and money laundering. He faces life in prison when he's sentenced in June. And now here's meteorologist Amber Lee with a check of your forecast. Hi, Sharon. Right now we are tracking a system that's going to bring us rain as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. Ahead of the system, a flash flood watch has been issued to so all the areas here in green. And we're also dealing with really strong gusty winds, especially over the mountains of San Bernardino County and Riverside County, where we could see gusts anywhere from 60 to 65 miles per hour. Wind advisories are also in place for LA and Ventura County. Gusts potentially up to 40, 45 miles per hour with the rain moving in early tomorrow morning and then really intensifying as we head into the overnight hours for Wednesday night and Thursday. We're talking anywhere from one to two and a half inches for the coast and valleys possibly four to eight for our foothills and mountains and maybe a quarter inch to three quarters of an inch for our desert communities. The system should start to taper off as we head into late Thursday night. We'll see some scattered showers on Friday, drier for Saturday, and then by Sunday there is potential for more rain and mountain snow moving in. Sharon. All right, Amber, join us on CBS 2 News at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 11 for the latest on your weather forecast and all of our top stories. This has been CBSLA.com's The Rundown. For Amber Lee, I'm Sharon Tay. Have a great evening, everyone.